Hi fellow makeup fiends, long time no see. I'm really sorry that I haven't been making face to face videos for a little while and I probably may not be um, for just maybe a week or so to come. I will try to because you know I love to upload regularly and I just I really enjoy making videos but I'm having tremendous pain with my back and it's also led to some problems with my neck and shoulders because I'm so tensed and if I look a bit peaky <laughs> Got dark circles. I'm not sleeping very well just because you know it's it's not easy to lie down when your back's quite as bad as that. But I've got a little backrest here that Alec used when he had a bad back. So he's got that set up for me and he set everything up on the desk for me that I got recently. And he's put it all so I don't have to reach for anything, I don't have to reach down, and I can do this video because I was saying there's no way that I can do a haul. I can't be reaching all over the place to show products and picking them up off the floor and things. So he's literally pulled out the drawer on the desk and stacked things up for me so that's amazing so now I can do my haul so I'm really excited to share some of my things with you um some things are not like a lot of this is purchased with birthday and Christmas money that I had um but some of the things aren't um so there's a couple of things like I've got a jumper here um I got something in new look that I took back and it was in a vlogmas video I think I can't remember but I showed I said that I was going to Topshop and I was going to get some boots and they weren't very nice so I returned them and I went into a new look and I returned something there and because it was a sale item I had to get an exchange so I picked up a jumper so that's the first thing I'm going to show you so this is what it looks like so it's a very soft pink jumper it's really baggy it's huge I mean this is a 16 but it's absolutely massive it is really loose on me but I like that it just hangs really nicely um this was originally 15 pounds and it was down to 10 and it just says tweet on the front and it's got a little birdie I thought that was quite cute um yeah and I love the colour I thought the soft pink was really nice and when I was um trying it on I had on my sort of oatmeal coloured jeans and it looked really nice with those I just thought that it was just really pretty very very soft wool and it's just this really lovely pink colour with sort of a grey sort of fleck in it yeah so I like it the next three things are actually a couple of things that Alec got me in the Asda sale um we only went in to pick up one thing which was this <laughs> I said I'd seen this um, t-shirt and we went in and um, they had one left so we picked it up and there was a couple of other things and Alec was like, just get them, they're in the sale, if they're not fit, take them back. Um, he's great like that, he's just, you know, he's amazing. <laughs> um, so I got this t-shirt and this is because I want to get back to Salsa Jive dancing and um, they haven't set up the classes on the Tuesday night yet, they're looking for a venue but as soon as that's set up, I'm going to be getting back to Salsa Jive and as soon as my back's fixed. Um, salsa Jive is great, it's great for toning, it's a good social sort of thing but I love to dance, I love to learn to dance. I'd love to be on Strictly, I think it's just an it would be an amazing experience to learn all those different dances. But anyway, I got this t-shirt and it was 10 and it was down to 5. And it's got some multicoloured sequins on and it just says keep calm and dance. And um, I just tend to wear jeans when I go dancing or I wear leggings and a top. Just quite casual, comfortable things to dance in. And I just thought that this was really cool. I thought I really like the keep calm and dance. I've got another couple of t-shirts that have sort of dance sort of themed slogans on them that I used to wear when I used to dance before. Because we danced, we did Salsa Jive classes for around four years. Um, we absolutely love Salsa Jive so I'm very excited to get back to it. So we went in and picked that up and then we saw a couple of things. Now this item is really creased. So I have to apologise for that before I show you it. Um, I did have it hanging nicely, but it must have fallen off the banister rail. And because I haven't really been paying much attention, because I have been living in pyjamas, that's all I've worn. Apart from if I've gone to the doctors and I've put leggings and a t-shirt on, just thrown something on basically. I haven't been getting dressed up. So I didn't realise, but this had fallen off and Alec had kind of not known what it was and he kind of just bundled it up like this. So it's super creased, but it's this lovely shirt from Asda. It was 12 and it was down to 6. G21. So it's a simple black shirt. And then on the front, it's just got this little bit of detailing on the shoulder. It's almost like a cowboy shirt. Detailing on the shoulder. And then the piping goes down at the front. 
and the white piper it looked really good when I tried it on I had jeans on and I tried it on with I had a vest underneath and it looked really good open but I think it would also look really nice clothes tucked into some trousers just as a bit of a funky edge to the kind of smart trouser for work thing just to wear something like that and then put a really nice belt with it so I love that and then he got me two pairs of jeans I love coloured jeans and I just live in them um, these were 14 and they were down to 7 and these are just the standard, these are skinny jeans and I'm not going to like fold them out or anything but they're this lovely sort of dusky sort of purple colour, they're really lovely and then the next ones, I've been looking for a pair of jeans this colour forever they're this really really bright green and they are from the same range and they are 14 down to 7 but this is an incredibly bright emerald green now, I've got my red jeans which I absolutely love to bits and um, so when I saw the green I was like oh I've been looking for green forever I just really like the bright jeans sort of trend so I've got those and that's it for the things at Asda um, this is something I got before Christmas and I didn't show you I don't think I showed you but if I'm showing you it again I'm sorry but this is a jumper from Primark and it just has the Batman it's the original Batman logo that used to be on the TV series which is Batman himself with the names inside his cloak and it's just a big grey slouchy jumper um, this is in this is in a 2XL because basically um, I got a medium for Tawny um, because she loves Primark men's jumpers and men's t-shirts like I do um, but I basically picked up hers in a medium and all they had left was some extra smalls and a 2XL so I just got it. It is quite big and it's huge on but it's fabulous for what I want it for which is to wear over jeans to be comfy in and to wear over leggings and yeah it's really great and if I take the dogs out um, when it starts to get a bit warmer and you don't want to put a coat on but you don't want to just wear a t-shirt something like this is fabulous just to, just to chuck on really so I absolutely love that. That was £12 at uh, Primark with um, birthday and Christmas money I got a couple of things I got a t-shirt a top man that <clears throat> I could not resist and it's an orange one and basically Mickey's head is a pumpkin which I thought was really cute and I love the orange I love the bright orange color and I just thought um, how amazing are they gonna look together it's Scooby-Doo, but <laughs> I just quite like the, the concept because the green's on there as well, so it kind of pulls it together. Now, glasses because I can't see. I think this had been about £18. It went down to 10 and then it went down to 6 So I thought that was a really good bargain. That's a really nice T-shirt. Now, the next T-shirt is from Primark, and this is kind of a... You'll either sorry about that my memory card ran out <laughs> so the next item is a t-shirt from Primark now this is a love it or you will hate it item and because basically it's from the man's section now I always really loved to wear playboy t-shirts when I was younger and it was always girls t-shirts but I really like them um, I love the logo it's the only branded thing that I've ever really enjoyed or worn and thought it was really cute I like the kind of sexy element to it I think and kind of the cuteness of the bunny but they did have some really nice things I just love like plain pastel tees that had the logos on really really nice really beautiful quality washed amazing and I've still got them and I'm gonna want to get back into them this summer so I'm excited to get back into them but I saw this in the man section and I just really liked it I tried it on with what I had on that day which was jeans and it looked really good um so this is a playboy t-shirt basically and again it is from the man section at Primark it was eight pounds I think and it's got this lady on you can't see anything she's got her arms in the way and um, but I just thought it was just really nice it's official playboy sort of stock and it is an XL again this is another item that they did not have in my size exactly so they didn't have it in um, a large which I would have preferred because I like my t-shirts from Primark, particularly my men's t-shirts, I like to wear them loose over jeans or over leggings. I like kind of to be baggy and loose and casual sometimes. So that's what I enjoy about their t-shirts, but unfortunately they didn't have it, so I got a t an XL, but it's fine. It is quite baggy, but I really like how it looks. I just think she's incredibly beautiful. Her eyes are amazing. And I just love like the lace on her arms and things. So yeah, I got that and I, I think that's really nice. And I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, um, <laughs> but yeah, I liked it. Um, the next two things are games that Alec brought me in the other day. He brought me the, these in to cheer me up because I've not been very well. I've actually been quite low and feeling a bit depressed with myself <laughs> over the past week. Um, 
yeah so it's not been great but he brought me in these two games basically he had some stuff to trade in at CEX so he got one of them for free and then he picked the other one up at a, a massive bargain price um, I think it was only a five or something um, at Asda because Asda do sort of trade-ins now where you can buy second-hand games so he picked me up um, two PS3 games he got me Arkham Asylum this is the Platinum Edition it's got some Joker footage in that you can play I think um, but this is totally amazing um, I brought it home on Saturday because I haven't been going out so he went out and got some food shopping he came in and he said right I've got some things for you and he got them out and I played for about four hours on Saturday on this on Saturday night I just absolutely love it I love the gameplay I love that you've got to think through the game and make decisions and I like the fighting element of it and I love Batman I think Batman's amazing so I love that and then the second one he got me was Arkham City. This has got the one, this is exclusive, it's got exclusive Catwoman footage. And the person who had traded it in, because this is the traded in one, so um, whoever had traded it in hadn't actually um, like getting the Catwoman code and downloaded Catwoman. So I was able to download the Catwoman um, levels. So I have played a little bit of this. I'm not enjoying this as much as the Asylum, because I feel like the Asylum's a bit more enclosed and it's kind of like, it kind of leads you where you need to go whereas this is a lot more open because it's in the city at the moment because I've only just started to try this one. I only played for about half an hour on it. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed that one. So I love Batman anyway, so it's fantastic. And Alec was like, what am I doing? How do I press the buttons? How do you know this? You're a girl. <laughs> yeah, I've always loved games though. So yeah. So he got me those. Um, I'll come back to sort of makeup items, I think. I will show you this one thing here. Um, I got this with birthday money and I got this at WH Smith. It's um, Marilyn Monroe and it's got exclusive to Smith's. It's $5.99. And it's gone but not un not forgotten. So it's this folder and then it's got a magazine. Well, it's not a magazine really, it's a book really. It's got this lovely book. And it's got lots of photographs and writing and things, so I will sit and read that. I love um, collecting anything to do with Marilyn at all. Um, I just think she's incredibly beautiful. I did put a thank you on my Facebook page when I got these. These are coasters. The lovely Claire of Lola Sparkles sent me these coasters. She saw them and she bought them and she said, I've got something. It's very small. I just want to send it to you because I saw it and I thought of you. And huge thank you. I sent a massive thank you and a lovely message, but I forgot to show those. So I've got those here on my desk. So I'll show you those. Um, so you get the, the book and then you get these amazing postcards. They're really huge. Um, that one. I love this one. I'm thinking about framing that one. I want to frame this one because that is one of my favourite images of Marilyn. And there's that one. Hopefully it's not too much glare there. That one. And of course, classic one there. But they're lovely and they come inside the pack. Um, so that was $5.99 and that's a bargain. I do tend to collect books more than anything, so whenever I'm in charity shops, I'm always picking up Marilyn books. Marilyn, so I got that book and I absolutely love that. Right, a new look. So at New Look, I got a white vest, which was three ninety nine. It's just a plain white vest because I've got some t-shirt transfer paper and there's a t-shirt I've wanted to make for a very long time with a picture that I've got. So I'm going to do that in a video. Um, that's an upcoming project that I'm going to do. I've got a bra, which um, underwear is a bit of a weird thing to show, but it's red. <laughs> It's from the Kelly Brook collection and it was £3 and I think that was just a bizarre price but basically um, all of the underwear that matches it had gone and it was the last one that was there and it was in my size so I picked it up and it's kind of got like sort of a ivory sort of trim. So there you go, that's my bra but you're not seeing it. <laughs> and then from New Look, a dress. Now we vlogged while we are in the Metro Centre. Sorry, I'm such a nice I'm going to that there. Uh, while we're in the Metro Centre, we vlogged and I showed an amazing dress. I've got it. I was talking to Alec about it and saying, oh, that dress was amazing. I really wish I'd got it. Um, really, really beautiful. When I lose weight, I want to get that dress. That Because basically, what actually made me want to go back for it, right? I commented about it. A couple of people commented in the video about it. And then um, the beautiful Lorette said, you should have bought it and hung it on your wardrobe as an incentive to lose weight. 
So I was kind of saying, oh, Lorette's right, you know, yeah, I should have done that, should have done that. And he was like, well, you should have got it. And he says, right, well, I'm going to take you back tomorrow and we're going to go and get it. So he took me back and he got me it. And it was kind of like as part of my birthday. So it's a stress. And I'll probably just take a couple of photographs of it. It's like, um, it's a midi length. And then it's got these sort of mesh panels on the arms. And it has got a mesh panel going down the front as well, which is a bit risque. But I would just wear like an all-in-one sort of underwear thing. So sort of like um, a body underneath. And I'd be quite happy. I don't care about anything like flesh on my legs showing. Because it's only a tiny little bit of mesh. And it's black anyway, so it's not like it's see-through. So it's just covered in tons of amazing imagery. Um, there's this lady here. Where's the cookie monster? I think he's... Where is he? Oh, the kooky monster. <laughs> uh, all sorts. It's kind of like very... Tony said it was very art pop. But it's amazing. And I'll take a few photographs because it's just one of those dresses where the more you look at it, the more you see. Uh, where is that? There's this amazing image here. Beautiful, beautiful. It's got cassettes and all sorts on it. So I fell in love with that and it was 24 dollars 24 dollars check. Yeah, this was $24.99. So Alec got me that as a huge incentive and I absolutely love it. I'm so thrilled. And I'm going to show you something else I got from Primark, which is going to look amazing with it. So this is going to get hung on the wardrobe and this is going to make give me a huge incentive to lose my weight. And I'm not like thinking I'm going to lose it really fast. So by the end of the year, um, I want to be able to get into this beautiful, beautiful dress. Oh, it's going to make me hungry, isn't it? Look at the cupcakes and the ice creams on it. So the next couple of items are footwear. So I've got two items of footwear. Um, these ones I bought with birthday money. <sighs> and you were like, what on earth is that? Right, this is a very Gaga inspired shoe. And this is actually from Primark and these were 16 pounds. And I've wanted a pair of these Gaga style shoes that have got no heel for the longest time i absolutely love them i think they're amazing and they look fabulous on and it's weird because they are actually quite nice to walk to walk in but like you see <laughs> they're a funny shape so from the front they look very ordinary but they're just kind of a sweetie sort of effect and 16 pounds was enough to pay and i absolutely love them but i put them on and totally i was like oh i don't know and they had amazing aqua colored pair but i tried these and i thought classic black would look great but i tried them and tony was going you must buy them buy them <laughs> Because she just thought they were amazing. But she's a huge Gaga fan, so she would think they're amazing. But yeah, these are fabulous. And they're really easy. I think I've said they're easy to walk in, but they are. But these will look amazing with that dress. Because I think these are kind of quirky. And so is the dress. So I think they'll look fabulous together. Yeah, I love the dress. <laughs> so I had to get it. And um, I think they'll look amazing together. So hopefully by the end of the year, I'm going to be in those. That dress is going to make me determined. So there you go. Um, the next thing is from ASOS. And I got this with birthday money as well. Um, I've had my eye on this since it came on the site and it's stunning. I absolutely love it. Not everybody's going to like it. It's another one of those love it or hate it things. I know that I do have different tastes to a lot of people. Um, I, wouldn't say, I do like to stand out in a crowd but I don't do it to stand out in a crowd. I just like things that are different. Um, but now you all might know um, if you've been subscribing to me for a while I have a thing about pandas pandas so cute so this was featured in Ingrid of Miss Glamorati's um, little makeover she did where she became a panda and I fell in love with it now this came out in ASOS but it was a hundred pound and it was like there's no way on this earth I'm buying a hat for a hundred pound and then it went down and it went down and it went down I think it went down to 42 at this point and then I got a nice little offer of ASOS for my birthday and I was able to get a good amount of it so got it so it's a spirit hood where is the tag and it's a hat and it's basically got these big long sort of things here and this is a scarf and then at the bottom you can put your hand in here 
So they're like little mitts to keep your hand warm. And on the underside are little paw prints. And then on the inside, on the inside on one side is a little zip. And it's got like a little pocket you could put like a mobile, some money or whatever in there. But I'll put it on and show you. <laughs> so that's it. Now I wore this to walk the dogs when it was snowy. And this is so incredibly warm and it's so beautifully made. You can tell it's an expensive item. Now it's got this little hook here and then it's got this really beautiful button. I'll show you in a second and you can fasten it up under your chin. And it just stays nice and closed and keeps your ears really warm. And I absolutely love it. And yes, I know it's a panda and how old are you? But I don't really care because I really, really like it. Um, but it kept me super, super warm and I was able to put my hands in the mitt area. And yeah, I absolutely love it. And it'll be out next winter and it'll be out from every winter from then because I'm going to keep it and I've got myself in a knot. <laughs> oh dear. Right, free. It's just kind of got it like a denim sort of inside to it. But it's really lovely. And that's the button. It's really detailed and heavy. So... I fell in love with that and I just, there's no way I wasn't going to get it. Okay, sorry about that. These days every time I seem to sit down and make a video, the phone rings or the battery runs out or the memory's full or some other disaster. Oh, where were we? Yes, I was showing you the panda thing. I really love it. I think it's really cute. And it's very me. The next thing are some shoes that Alec just got me. Actually, just ordered these for me because he was ordering a couple of things from Very, and he saw these shoes and he was like, "Oh, I think you really like these. They're very reminiscent of ice skates, which I just love ice skating." These are in the sale at Very at the moment. I love the big heel. It's a wooden heel, and yeah, they're just big chunky soled shoes. And when you look at them like that, they do kind of look like ice skates. <laughs> I don't know why that's really I really like it I don't know it's just one of those things I think they just look really good but they're really nice I just think cream as well they're wipeable so they're really great but I think they look really great with like coloured jeans and lots of different coloured jeans it just adds a bit of interest to your outfit so those are my little cream booties and I love them the next things are accessories so I'm going to show you something from ASOS because I just got one thing now it's this cuff um, it's quite difficult to show that's what it looks like. So it comes in a pack of two and I think it was £6 for the two and I, I don't know if they're in gold but I don't know if they're in the sale in gold. Um, but I think they're really lovely. I like ASOS cuffs anyway but it's just got the cross cut out of them. They're really really nice and I thought for £6 they were really great. I've been watching them for quite a while, been watching them at full price and there's no way I'd pay that. I think they were quite expensive originally, I think they were about £18 but when they came down to £6 I ordered them straight away because I just think they're lovely. Um, the next thing is a cross from New Look which I got when I got my dress and it was a pound and it's from Reborn. I've never heard of this range before. Um, it must be quite a new one at New Look but then again I haven't shopped in there for quite a long time. It was originally £5 and it's just a silver chain. And then it's got this lovely sort of jewelled cross on it. But it's I like that it's a very delicate sort of cross. I thought that was really nice. And then this other thing was full price, but I just could not resist it. And it's from a brand called Rome. And it was £6. So it's a chain, and then it's got all these crosses coming down here. And then it comes down to this really lovely, sort of delicate cross. I don't normally go for gold jewellery, but I didn't mind it with this, because it's got some black in as well. And that's it for accessories. So we're going to move on to nail items now. So I've got four nail items. I've got some of these MUA Fur Effect nails. Fluff and Cuddles. It's really beautiful bright pink. That's what it looks like. This one's called Fluffy Puff. <laughs> I like the names. And that's just a beautiful baby pink. Then I went to the Makeup Barrel in the Metro Centre with um, Birthday Money again. And um, Elena showed these nail polishes that she got that were really lovely. And I picked up two. Um, I got Cascade, which is this really, really beautiful pink colour. And then I got Bikini Sotini, which is this beautiful lilac colour. So it was really tough to get this one because this is the one that I really loved the most when Elaine showed it. So they're really nice. 